Hi everyone, this is Chris from uh, Bar Above, and today we're going to take a look at color changing tea again. Um, I had so much fun on the first post and I had so many great ideas that I wanted to try it again. So we're going to re-examine color changing tea, look at a couple other techniques, and um, share some of our successes and failures. So stay tuned. So I had so much fun on the first video post on the color changing tea that it created a lot of other ideas that I wanted to test out uh, later on. So that's why I kind of revisited this um, and tried some new techniques. And like I said, we had some success and failures, but I'm going to share them all with you. So um, the first video post was basically just trying to understand the product, getting hands on with it, understanding kind of how much pH you need to change it over from purple to blue and back to blue to purple with the addition of baking soda. Um, or sodium bicarbonate, um, same, same thing. So the second video post, um, I had a lot of fun with. And the first idea I had was essentially to create Inception Ice. So if you've seen the movie, you probably know what I'm talking about. But essentially what it is, is ice within ice. So I had three different small ice cubes I made. One was lemon juice, one was the blue tea, and one was um, the baking soda ice. So a small amount of baking soda mixed in with water and then frozen. Um, and the idea was I would take those smaller cubes, put them into a larger cube tray, and then encase the smaller cube with, you know, regular ice. Um, now the idea was sound and I really enjoyed it, um, except for the fact that when you put the smaller cubes into the bigger cubes and try and freeze them, the ice cubes naturally want to kind of gravitate towards one side. Um, now I don't have the patience to kind of manipulate them and turn them and all that stuff. So I kind of gave up on it, but I think there's a good possibility with, with that technique for playing with this tea and having some fun. So essentially the, um, the lemon ice would slowly dissolve and turn a blue cocktail purple. And with the blue tea, it would change like a regular normal looking cocktail um, from yellow to purple as it slowly um, dissolves. And the last one, with the baking soda ice was essentially turn a purple cocktail back to blue as the ice slowly melts. So I was really excited about that one. Now the second technique that I tried was actually to infuse it. Um, so I added a couple of the flower petals to some vodka, allowed it to sit for a couple of days, and it turned a really, really deep purple. So you just add a little bit of baking soda to kind of change it back over to blue, and you can use it normally as you would um, regular vodka. Now, one thing I tried with this, which uh, turned out pretty interesting and fun, was I actually um, used it as a color stencil. So I created a stencil and spritzed the blue vodka through it onto an egg white. And there's enough acid in the egg whites, if you use it with citrus juice in a cocktail, that it changed it back over to purple. So that was kind of fun and interesting and um, something I, I really enjoyed um, experimenting with. Now, the last technique, um, kind of used the Inception ice to create a multi-layered cocktail. So I basically crushed the ice down, created bands of ice within a cocktail, um, and just basically pour the cocktail over the top of it. And it worked out really, really well. So I created uh, three to four different bands of color um, in the cocktail. And the, the interesting thing about it is I stirred it, you know, just kind of stirred it around with a, um, with a straw, and the color stayed. It was really, really a lot of fun to work with. So I think there's a lot more possibilities of working with this product to create some really interesting presentation pieces. And if you've worked with this product before or you know, you're experimenting with it, I'd love to hear um, kind of some of your thoughts on how you utilize this product. Um, in the future, we'll have some more videos. But until then, I hope you guys have a great shift and cheers. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel Find us on Google+, or visit us at abarabove.com.